I know the weekend is here and folks are always excited about that, but all eyes are on Monday now, right? Yeah, that's right. Solar eclipse Monday and a, it's a date that folks have been waiting for for weeks and weeks, if not months and years in some cases. And, you know, it is interesting that when we talk about this event coming up, it was Texas and the south parts of the U.S. that were looking like the most likely to see clear conditions. Now it looks like as we look at the actual cloud cover forecast, this is where the clouds are going to be most dominant on Monday afternoon. And the best viewing conditions are going to be across the northeast U.S. And here in the Maritimes, Maine and the Maritimes in particular, mostly sunny skies uh, across the region. Maybe a few clouds to watch for, but overall it's looking pretty good. And again, 100% of the sun eclipsed in that path of totality. Most of Nova Scotia in the 90 to 99% range of, yes, a partial eclipse. And there is a difference. So, yeah, for Halifax, for example, we'll see the partial eclipse begin around 325, 330 Maximum eclipse of around 94%. That happens around 438. And again, we'll just see the outer edge of that sun, but we won't quite see the corona that they will see in New Brunswick and further north. And we'll give you a look at what that looks like. And again, in the path of totality, that's where you get that, that corona that is so well known for a total solar eclipse. And that's what they'll be experiencing across New Brunswick and also across parts of Nova Scotia, a small little sliver, and we'll show you here. So if you are thinking about traveling to New Brunswick, a good chunk of the province will be experiencing totality only for a few minutes, 433 to 434, 30, 435, 436, and then by 437, 438 p.m. on Monday, it's gone. But at 440 p.m., Meat Cove, Yes, the northern tip of Cape Breton and Bay St. Lawrence, a couple communities there on the northern edge of Cape Breton will also experience totality for about a minute on Monday afternoon. So we'll hope that the skies cooperate, Amy, and obviously all eyes will be on that forecast throughout the weekend, and we'll keep you posted on that. Do you think the population of Meat Cove may get quite a bit I bigger? I would say <laughs> definitely a lot of folks uh, flocking there definitely over the weekend. All right, thanks, Ryan. Thank you.